At the peak of the fame of the ministry of Jesus, there was easily 25 to 30,000 people in one location. Now, if you don't think that that is too much, you just need to realize there were no microphones then. Okay? If the Bible says that he fed 5,000 men, okay? Usually, there is more women than men in any given place. Am I telling you the truth or not? I'm sorry, my brothers, we got to work harder. So imagine if there were 5,000 men, how many women could have been there? Let's say double. So that's 15,000. Okay. Those days, they didn't believe in having one kid for one home. You know, or two kids per home. They believed in the multiplication grace. For several practical reasons also. Okay. So let's say that there was three kids. How many people would that be? Easily 45, 50,000. Easy. We're just going small numbers. So, and they would stay two, three days with Jesus. Just staying with Jesus. I don't think they, they had made tents those days. Today, you can buy a tent from Amazon. I don't think this, those were available. They just stayed in open air. Three days. Just lingering with Jesus. Ah, him, hearing the words of Jesus. And he used the mountain as a landscape for his voice to travel. So he would be on the top and he would say, Blessed are the poor in the spirit. And the voice would go down echoing. And one of the reasons why they followed him was because of the miracles. He, he was so popular <laughs> for the miracles. But every time people came, Jesus wanted to talk. But they didn't come for the talk. Ah, they didn't come for the... Matthew chapter 5, verse 1. Seeing the crowds, he went up on the mountain and when he sat down, his disciples came to him, he saw multitudes. What does he do? He said, when I see the multitudes, these guys are going to come and one fellow is going to say, my mother-in-law is not well, please come and pray for her. And then another guy is coming and saying, please pray for my servant. Another guy is saying, please, my friend, please do that, please that, this. So when he sees the crowd, he says, before they can come and ask me to come somewhere, let me rush to the mountaintop. Are you getting what I'm saying? Before they can say, come there, come here, you come to where I am. And he climbs up the mountain. This is always the desire of God. Okay? The desire of humans is always to, to receive a miracle. And the desire of the Lord is for you to hear His words. Because His words are life. The desire of people is what? Is to see miracles. The desire of the Lord is what? For to hear His words. One more time. The desire of people is what? Yeah. They are attracted to the gift. Not to the gift giver. We have a tendency to be drawn to the gift and not to the gift giver. One more time. We have a tendency drawn to the gift and not to the gift giver. So he sees them and he says, no, 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 no. I'll, I'll, I'll do the miracles for you later, but now I want to talk. <laughs> I'll do the miracles for you later, but now I want you to hear me what I want to teach you. But 
people being people they ate the bread and they were gone they ate the bread not the words the five loaves and two fishes say so, okay today i saw one miracle okay i came all the way because when i go back to my village they're going to ask did you see jesus yes did he do any miracles yeah i saw it with my eyes i saw you know he touched the bread it was just five loaves and then boom 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 it started spreading <gasps> really even i got to go so they're all coming to 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 what to see something so they can go back to the village and talk about what they saw <laughs> that is why jesus said blessed are you who believe without seeing so what group are you in are you after the gift or are you after the gift giver yeah and the 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 ratio of the people that are with him for him versus for what they can get is so high and it's so sad and it's so disappointing they hadn't come for jesus they had come for the miracles and they left when the show was over you see some people have pursued the the scriptures alone and they have gone tangent as well scripture 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 scriptures now they are so puffed up what does the knowledge do puffs you up we don't want that we want to be people of god that pursues the presence of god the presence will then make sure that we are rooted in the word Amen. yeah the presence of god and the word of god you don't understand the presence of god is only accelerated by the word of god the presence of god is what it is the word that helps us to host the presence of god it is the word you cannot have the presence of god outside the word of god but you can have the word without the presence of god one more time you cannot have the presence of god outside the word of god but you can have the word of god without the presence of god that's the mistake many churches have made they are so passionate and zealous about the word of god but that they come sunday after sunday they're preaching something but it doesn't affect hearts anymore if anything it brings condemnation and judgment and to scare people away it doesn't ah uh, it doesn't host christ the melting love of christ ah uh, that's it get it many people like the christ that scares you but but when christ looks into your eyes it's his love that brings you into conviction it says it is love no he he never threatens anybody with hell <laughs> no 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 that's your pastor maybe <laughs> but not christ because christ doesn't need to use external elements to bring you to him he just need to look into your eyes he's complete in itself so human beings surround themselves around a gift but we must run after the word yeah the ministry of jesus he begins to do ministry lot more people hear about him 
to the point where when he entered Jerusalem Jerusalem erupted erupted throngs thousands of people tens of thousands of people left and right invited him welcomed him into Jerusalem in fact he didn't want to go in because he knew what would happen you should always be careful of fame with fame also comes crucifixion so when jesus enters into jerusalem peak of ministry again look what happens people want to see miracles people want to receive miracles wherever there is the gift in operation there is a crowd one more time wherever there is a gift in operation there is a crowd if there is a healing ministry there is a crowd if there is a prophetic ministry there is a crowd all i need to do is start calling some people out of this congregation start prophesying to them boom 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 i'm telling you but there is a limit to the gift because there is a point when the ministry of jesus becomes substance the thing that he was called for the thing that he was sent for the one and the 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 core purpose of what jesus was sent for on earth was to die for the sins of humanity am i right yes. okay for god so loved the world yeah so the purpose was to save them am i right yes. so at that moment of the greatest moment in human history the purpose for which christ came okay at the highest <laughs> purpose in his life the bible says all his disciples deserted them there was a young man that followed him at a distance his name is not mentioned all the disciples left except a young man who followed him at a distance they caught hold of him he left his robe and ran away okay at the peak of ministry the purpose that he came to fulfill for you see all his disciples deserted him peter denies him three times judas betrays him one of his own disciples that he anointed as apostle the apostle betrayed jesus aish at the peak of ministry here is jesus now on the cross doing what he came to do How many people were at his foot? Three people. Two women. And one disciple of the Lord. Who they call the beloved of the Lord. John. At the core of his ministry. My question is. Where did that guy who. who was blind that got healed where did he go huh where did the the 5000 men that ate from him where did they go where did the guy who was paralyzed where did he go 39 years he was paralyzed where did he go where the lepers 10 lepers that got healed where did they go none of these guys that were after Jesus for a miracle was at the cross and the cross was for them the cross was for whom for them and and, and the moment of truth where the epitome of love was being manifested they were not there my god i want you to listen to this verse luke chapter 18 verse 1 god is prophesying to some of you 
and he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought to always to pray and not to faint saying there was in a city a judge which feared not god neither regarded man there are some people like that they don't fear god nor regard man and there was a widow in that city and she came unto his him saying avenge me of my adversary okay this is jesus saying and he would not for a while but afterward he said within himself though i fear not god nor regard man yet because this widow troubles me i will avenge her okay next line lest by her continual coming she weary me some of you are wondering why do you repeatedly sing songs why do you keep singing it why do you keep singing the same song because there is something that happens when some of us pursue the lord night after night there are some things that would have never come to you but because of your continual persistent doors in heaven must open do you understand what is the sin of the church today we become so organized and so programmed we sing a few songs is a time to preach now we have the preacher on clock i'm saying okay time to close the service now but god is looking for a generation that is in no hurry they can just stay on one song for the rest of the day they can just stay with one line from the scripture for the rest of the day and they will knock on the heaven's door with that one information one revelation inside their spirit and this example from jesus itself is shocking because he's saying that this is not even a believer this guy is not a proper judge he's saying but a judge that does not fear god a judge that does not fear god is deciding that i'm going to give to this individual an answer to her request because of what her continual pestering yet because this widow troubles me i will avenge her lest by her continual coming she weary me <laughs> she is going to weary him by continual knocking 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 some of you knocked once and and gave up some of you knocked twice and you gave up some of you knocked a few times and gave up that is why you're still stuck that is why you have so much head knowledge and you're still stuck because at some point you forgot certain principles of heaven god is looking to give you another opportunity god is giving you another opportunity this is another season of your life i told you this is one of a kind of a bracket period look at the next line and the lord said hear what the unjust judge says okay next line and shall not god avenge his own elect which cry day and night unto him day and night god is looking for some people that will seek him day and night <sighs> look these are not my words is the words of the our lord jesus yes we version says will he delay long over them and will not god give justice to his elect who cry to him day and night day and night what is it that you want what is it that you want the manner in which you get it in the kingdom is what continual knocking until you wear out the judge who is not giving you what you want he's holding back he said nah now i have to give it to them because of their continual persistence 
continual knocking continual persistence god this is what we want god this is what we want god send revival god rise up for us god wake up for us god come down god open up the skies god open up the heaven god god jesus look at this he says i tell you he will avenge them speedily he will avenge them speedily and the verse that i gave you before is right here okay nevertheless when the son of man come shall he find faith on the earth in other words he's saying that for those people if i can locate those people who are crying day and night crying day and night i'm going to give them justice speedily i will respond to them speedily i will reward them speedily those who seek the lord the bible says there is a reward for you and everybody shout the word speedily that's your portion Ah come on we need to when we go to the presence of God we need verses that we can tell him say lord didn't you say this in your bible didn't you say speedily you will answer to them speedily send your revival on our nation oh lord i wish somebody is with me tonight speedily spread the revival to quebec oh lord speedily let america come under revival Speedily let nations catch the fire of Pentecost. Nevertheless, 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 although this principle ah uh, listen to me now, although this principle exists, nevertheless, will the son of man find faith when he comes to earth. In other words he's saying that in order for you to be like this woman who bothered and troubled the guy day and night you must need something it's called faith it is faith that will cause you to run after the lord day and night day and night day and night oh i love your face day and night i love your kisses I love your embrace. I love your embrace. I love your presence. Hello, welcome to Revive Nations TV. I am so glad that you are here. Thank you for being part of this Jesus journey with us, and I hope that these videos have been encouraging you, edifying you, and transforming you. Please let us know where you're watching from, and we would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for all the financial partners that has been partnering with us so far. If you haven't done so, would you take a minute and partner with us by going to revivenations.tv. give until we meet again stay under the mighty hand of god god bless you and shalom distance is not a barrier to god revivenations.tv is now open to live participation to our services 